Francis here from MTVR, and I'm here to show you a few of the self-contained bike lights at the high-end level. So the high-end level right now is defined as about 1,200 lumens, 1,000 to 1,200 lumens, around 200 bucks, 200 to 250 bucks, and uh, it's a super exciting uh, area of bike lights because they are brighter, as bright as you can, as you need to be right now. Before they were flashlights, before were just you know convenient, but but small, uh, but but not quite bright enough. Now they are bigger with a wider beam pattern, with a more controlled beam pattern, and a little longer runtime. So um, the first one I picked up is actually the revolutionary one from last year. This one is called the Light Motion Taz 1200 uh, the, uh, this year so they still have this but this year they have the Taz 1000 uh, 300 bucks for this 250 bucks for the 1000 so what's amazing about it is it has a very controlled beam pattern it's similar to their Seika light so the big boy light with a very elaborate beam pattern they put it here so let me turn it on so there you go so compared to these flashlights which had a simple round beam pattern usually now we have an elaborate beam pattern here so we have is kind of a, a reverse or it's kind of a diamond shape trapezoid um, a little flatter on top and a lot of light on the bottom so the bottom is cool because you can see all around you you can see the uh, the hole or the, the edge of the trail the, the switch back as, as you're turning um, so very very significant light 300 bucks, kind of expensive, but they got it down to 250 for the um, Taz 1000. So, so there you go, a few light levels, some glowing. And this one has side lighting as well. Um, there you go, so if you're commuting, you can have some side lights, but if you're on the trail, you can turn it off. Turn off. There you go. So, a great light. If you want the best beam pattern, that's that's the one you want. Uh, another one that's cool is the Mega Drive. Um, Two hundred bucks for this. Um, it's got two LEDs, a lot of heat sinking, just a very robust light. There you go. A little side lighting there, just from the acrylic or from the glass. This one is 1200 lumens. Didn't quite measure up there. Maybe 1150 or 200 bucks. But really a flat uh, output over time because it stays cool and it's got um, good temperature control and good voltage control, regulated voltage. It has a removable battery. Replaceable field replaceable battery if you carry another one that means you can have as much runtime as you want But even cooler than that I think is the the new Deca drive Why is it cooler? Because it's cheaper 150 bucks runs longer on an hour and a half instead of 120 it has three LEDs So it's got a little better beam pattern and it's powder coated So it's nice and smooth whereas this one has some sharp edges uh, Replaceable battery Field replaceable battery as well. If I knew how to turn it off, I'll be in business. There you go. Boom. So it has a little better beam pattern. The spot in the middle is a little wider. It's still plenty bright. They call it 800, 800 lumens. We measured about eight, uh, eight, closer to 900. Oh, there you go. On the medium, they turn off the center. Nice. Very stable as well. Okay, uh, get to some really cool lights. Uh, this one is amazing. The Lupine Pico TL. Because look at the form factor. Whereas you have a monster light here, you have a tiny little light here. It slips in your pocket. Uh, the Mini Max and the Max. It's the question of runtime. I think uh, hour and change for this, two hours for this one. 
There we go. That's how bright it is. Low, high, low, high. That's all you want. None of these five flashy modes, etc. So, just an amazing light. If you want some something with just the best technology, lasts you forever. Something you can uh, hand down to your kid when uh, when they grow up. Do fine. It will last you. Four hundred, four hundred bucks, I believe, for this one. Just the beautiful uh, electronics on this one. Finally, something new for this year that's super awesome is the Cat Eye 1200. Uh, really cool because it's only 200 bucks and 1200 lumens we measured at 1270, closer to 1300. So it's just bright. It's got a nice pattern too. It's got a square pattern. Only downside is um, it doesn't have a lot of heat sinking. So if you're in hot weather, it might heat up on you and, and step down. Oh, flashing. There we go. So as you can see, the beam pattern is kind of square. It's their OptiCube technology, which flats it out on top. It's the good, the good news. I wish it was Opti rectangle technology because you want it wider, not quite a square. But it is a control beam pattern. A few light levels. But on the high, it's more than 1200 lumens for $200. So, quite a few options, you know, bang for the buck is this, best beam pattern is this, technology, this, stability, this, so pretty much, uh, super exciting because someone's got, everyone's got something to offer, thank you.